All right, we're going to do another example here, but it's going to, don't ever let these things kind of throw you off, because you just got to dig into your math sets here to figure it out. Here's your system of equation, x squared minus 2, and x squared, a positive x squared is a parabola. Here's your other one, uh, positive uh, 2x plus 1, and that's a positive slope line. What you can see from that is that you're going to get two solutions. There's two crossover points here, okay? Two crossover points. Why can we, like you say, okay, elimination method's pretty easy, but, but can we combine terms like this? No, because x squared and an x are as similar as apples and oranges. If you want to talk about sim uh, like terms, combining like terms, think of it like this. This is a line, this is a square, similarly, this is a cube. Can you, is this the same as this, and is this the same as this? Uh-uh, right? So likewise, you cannot combine these together. Okay, they're, they're, they're their own animal. In fact, I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. Here's what you really have here. y equals uh, 1x squared plus 0x to the 1, it's not even listed because we're smart lazy math people, plus negative 2. Okay? And the second equation we have 0x squared, because it's not even listed, plus 2x plus 1. Okay? This is what the real systems of equations are. They're just written in smart lazy math person terminology. We don't write what we don't have. We don't have to write it. But it's, this is what you would have if you stretch it out in proper alignment. There's our, there's our x to the power of 1s. There's our x to the power of 2s. There's our simple numbers at the end. Okay. Why did I do that? I wanted to show you that you cannot combine this, or sorry, you can't combine this with this to try and eliminate it. Okay. So instead, we're going to do the alternative, which is substitution. Okay. Substitution. Well, well, well. Okay. I want you to think about this concept. If I have 3 plus 1 and I say that it equals 4, but I also have 2 plus 2 and that equals 4, I could say, I could bring this up and say it like this, right? What I have now is 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 is equal to 2 plus 2. That is correct. However, they're both equal to 4, which means they're both equal to one another. This equals this. That simple concept, which makes perfect sense, of course, is what we're going to do with this. y equals this. y equals also this. So therefore, these, this here must equal that top, x squared minus 2 equals y, but y also equals 2x plus 1. Therefore, x squared minus 2 must also be the same as this. Okay? Now what we're going to do, because we're dealing with parabolas, I'm going to, I'll do it and I'll maybe explain it later in another video. We want to set everything to 0, so you have blah 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 equals Zero. Okay. Uh, let's let's do this here. Um, minus two x minus one. Oops, that's an x. Okay. I get x squared minus two x minus one minus two, that's minus three. Okay. Equals zero. Nothing left on the right side. Okay. All we're doing is maneuvering equations here. Okay. Now what we have. This should look familiar to your grade 9, grade 8 uh, kind of stuff. In fact, it is a polynomial. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. Email me if you need a refresher. We have to factor this. Uh, what we're going to do, I, I already know the factors. Uh, it'll be x minus 3 and x plus 1. Factoring polynomials, other section of videos. Okay? Let me just check it out. Okay. Okay? So, we haven't done any magic here. We're just using stuff we know. Move it all to zero. We maneuver the equation. So we end up with this. And then we simply factor it out. Now, what is this? What? How we're going to solve this is we have to think of x values that'll make it equal to zero. And this is how we're going to get our x values for 
our two positions here. So we have two x values there and there. We have to remember, anything times zero will equal zero, right? So we have to figure out how we can make this set of brackets equal zero. Back into grade seven algebra. Let's check it out. x minus 3 equals 0. If we add 3 to both sides, x would have to equal positive 3 in order for this to be 0. Okay? I, I showed the math here just to not skip a step. Okay? So we can see that one of the x's is positive 3. And over here, we know that uh, this was gonna be, is going to be negative 1 by looking at it, but let's do the math. We set it to zero. That's the trick. Set it to zero. Okay. Um, subtract one. There's x equals minus one. Trust me, the setting it to zero is really going to pay off when you're dealing with ugly equations here. Okay. So here is your two x values. Okay. I'll continue this in the next video. Okay. Take a breather. Grab some water.